Okay, I thank the gentleman for his remarks. Now call upon the member of opposition to extend uh, to begin the case from the closing opposition. Thank you for having us today. And uh, after that very fiery speech, I just want to say that we can calm down and get back to the minute <laughs> right here and actually crystallize uh, and provide a little extension uh, about really where this is at. So I'm going to do a little refutation and, and then add a new uh, level of argument that my partner mentioned about earlier. So let me do a little refutation. Um, the, the, the discussion about racism was brought in over here a couple of speeches ago, and we absolutely want to say that it's a sad thing if there's racism, or, or it, when there is racism in our society, when there's racism in our justice system. And we uh, obviously are against racism and the idea, right, because we were founded on a nation of laws and uh, uh, opportunity and equality and uh, life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. And so we are against that kind of thing when, when laws are unfairly applied. We think that we should work towards creating a better system, changing the system, uh, getting people good lawyers by paying lawyers more. Um, sure, we, you know, it, it can be imperfect, but we don't think that this is the uh, solution. And we, uh, in opposition, are going to actually make the case that this makes the system worse. So going with them today is going to make the system worse. But let me, uh, let me, the last speaker talked about anarchy, and he, he was proud to, uh, to be an anarchist, which is, which is cool. But as we talked about earlier, you can vote. You can vote. You can vote for a president that will uh, appoint a U.S. Supreme Court justice that does not believe that, uh, that believes it is unconstitutional to, to have a death penalty. So in America, you have a democracy. And apparently this side over here would rather have a, a coup among uh, jurists to change a law because they have an issue with it all of a sudden. Right? So they, instead of voting and using their voice, which we all have, instead of demonstrating peacefully like, like we can all do, uh, or uh, even better yet, I'm going to uh, talk about later, voting with your feet, uh, they would rather not have it. So let me keep going about this. Um, and, uh, to, to, to not, and, and like we said, not all governments. He said not all governments have understood this. So half have according to that, half have you know, understood that, they, that death penalty is not a good idea. So great, so we need to support more of the ACLU or whoever else so that we can, uh, so we can repeal this law if you believe so. But they don't want to do that, they'd rather go through the solution which is going to cause anarchy and more problems. So let me get my first three points. U.S. was founded as a nation of law, right? My second, sister, uh, second point is about how uh, this, is a, this will undermine the justice system. And, uh, the third point would be federalist, the federalist system. That's a, a big new extension in our uh, in our idea, right? So nation of laws. You know, we talked about John Locke and the last speaker. But, you know, society must come together and agree upon their rules, right? So you're born into America, and you realize in California, there is a death penalty if I commit a premeditated murder. And he talks about the Virginia woman earlier, which is really interesting, because she premeditated murdering her husband after she took out an insurance policy on him. Now, of course, it's a graphic crime, and that's sad, and that's disgusting to think about. But in Virginia, she lived in the state where she knew the laws, which most people know the laws in the state that they live in, or hopefully you do, because that's part of being a citizen. Uh, she knew that she could be executed for that, and she was actually last week. So it's uh, interesting that we're debating this. And you have an uh, issue with that. Go ahead. Yeah. Just because I think what the Virginia woman did is ethically wrong is not reason enough to allow an ethical wrong on the part of the government. Okay, and you guys have not clearly said because you believe it's unethical, right? I mean, speaking of social contract, right, you have to have consent of the government, right? And so instead of voting and changing law as they've done in half the states, you would rather have, okay, we got to have mob rule in the last one. we got to take the system down. No, there's half the states have done this already through the legal judicial process, and you want to tear down the judicial system because you have issues with it. So go vote. You know what, we do believe this is a slippery slope because a pothead in California might get the idea of, well, I don't, I don't think it's, why should the state tell me that I can't smoke marijuana? It makes me happy, right? Life, liberty, peace, and happiness. The next step is obviously other things. In Oregon, where I'm from originally, we have euthanasia, right? That's a choice that Oregon made. The federal government tried to stop Oregon by suing it, and in Ashcroft v. Oregon, they, it, was, it was found out that Oregon has the right to make their own laws. So you have to have a consent of the government, and federalism works, and that's our main extension, right? So let me get into that in reverse order now. So we believe that you should be able to vote with your, your feet. Right? So each person can, can leave the state if they don't agree with the law. And we think a consent of the government means that if you're in that state and you're not voting to change the leaders, right? we have elections in 33 days. So if you, don't want, if you want to change the marijuana laws in California, go for it because you guys are voting on a marijuana legalization bill. And if you want to change uh, banning uh, capital punishment, vote for Jerry Brown. Great, easy solution. And in five years, every state will, will be caught up, as you believe. 
and tell me why you can't go to cause this and chase this problem. Okay, we would say that when something is an ethical standard, we view it as an ethical standard now, that we shouldn't wait for it to be a legal standard down the road. We should, have, we should immediately like, try to stop this, stop this out by civil disobedience if necessary. But you have conceded that the Constitution, the U.S. Supreme Court has decided on this and has not found it to be unconstitutional. These are, it's a rule of, uh, sorry for yelling, it is, it is a process in America where we abide by our, the, the judicial system. That goes back to the John Locke thing, right? That, 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 that the founding has, that the law, states make law. So you concede that we have a system where we all abide by the laws. That's why we live here. That's why we vote. That's why we participate and get involved and elect leaders that will change these laws in the rest of the state. But apparently you, and, and until you make the argument, which we don't think you have, uh, we, we think we win this case because you are now creating anarchy, which I'm going to talk about the justice system being uh, undermined. Right, so we'll admit that it's not always perfect, and you know that sucks. That's part of human nature, as they they, they talked about up here, right? We're, you know, you're never going to have perfect justice, and, and we should strive for that. We should improve the system to create, ra you know, low racism. We should improve the system so that we have better lawyers for everyone. But you, we have a jury of your peers. I mean, what in a magnificent system that, that you have a jury of your peers instead of some, you know, court appointed by you know your your leaders, who, you know, whatever. So. These average people are given instructions to uh, institute the interpretation of the law. And we don't think that, as I mentioned earlier, it's a silly example, but a kid in California who believes that marijuana should be your legal right, which people do, should be saying, all right, well, you, you got busted for weed? Okay, man, I'll vote. You know, screw that. I don't think I should follow the law because they did it on the death penalty. I mean, I don't, they don't think the death penalty is legal. I'm not going to follow the I'm not going to prosecute you. Screw you. Yeah, perfect. Drug dealer. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I mean, that, that makes sense. Like, you could extend that. We think that's very feasible because that's how precedent happens in law, which you guys aren't okay with. And uh, th that could happen with common people listening. You know, these people aren't lawyers, so it's not like they, you know, they get the directions from the justice, the, uh, the, the people in charge. So what have we told you today? Well, I've extended and talked to you about how the federal system works, about how, uh, you know, if, if you want to change the system, you absolutely can. You can do it sooner or later. Uh, the status quo uh, is effective, and we think that anarchy will come about, uh, and your system will make this work, and we are proud to uh, Thank you.